everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs. In this video, I make some coasters using many of the items from the DD April Art Box from Dryer Days Art Studio. These are custom silicone molds you can only find on dryerdaysartstudio.com. ColorJoy is Dryer Days' own line of products. I'll be using cream colored cream paste, which is not in the art box, but I wanted to use it with this project. From the box though, I will be using Violet Chameleon Mica Powder, Iridescent Stones, Pixie Dust, Amethyst Aurora Holographic Sparkler, and Blue Purple Cream Paste. For the resin, I will be using ClearCast 7050 resin. It's a two to one ratio resin, which means two parts of part A, which is the resin, and one part of part B, which is the hardener. It can be measured by weight or volume, and this is from the epoxy resin store. You can find links in the description for everything I'm using and discount codes for both Dryer Days Art Studio and the epoxy resin store. I will be making 12 ounces of resin total. These molds altogether hold about 10 ounces, and since it's a two to one ratio resin, I'll round up to the nearest number divisible by three. The TCP cups have ounce marks as well as several ratio options, and you can also peel the resin out of them once they cure. I've got a silicone spatula, some standard popsicle sticks, three ounce cups, which these are actually number six recycle plastic, and resin does not peel out of them, just an FYI. If you want something that's reusable, definitely go for silicone or number five recycle plastic, which is polypropylene. And I will also be using my heat gun to help with bubbles. It's an adjustable one and I have it set to a lower heat setting. When I counted how many cups I would need, I included the iridescent stones, but I'm actually gonna add those straight into the coasters and not mix it into a cup of resin. So I will also be using the pink iridescent flakes from the DD April Art Box mixed with some of this Sherwood Sparkler. I keep some isopropyl alcohol in pump bottles handy for any resin I need to clean off my surface or my gloves. I poured a little bit of the clear resin into each of the molds and I'm just getting it spread around to the edges. I'll hit it with the heat gun to help with the bubbles. Then I'll take a silicone brush to pull any bubbles away from the creases. I'll use this with polymer clay often too, so I wanna wipe it off with alcohol first to make sure it's clean. Using a silicone brush will help not scratch the molds and then I'll go over them again quickly with the heat gun. I'm keeping the coaster similar, but of course each will be different. Based on where the cream color went, I added some of the iridescent stones. Then I'll add the rest of the colors, ending with blue purple. Using a clean stick, I swirl both the blue purple and the cream paste colors with the clear resin a little bit, and I'll add a little more resin here and there to help fill up the coasters. I'll go over each one quickly with my heat gun to pop any bubbles, but making sure I'm not actually pushing the resin around. Then I'll let them cure for about 24 hours. I love how they turned out, and that blue purple paste is gorgeous. I haven't decided how I'll finish them yet or which side I like as the top. What do you think? You can see where I put the iridescent stones in and I didn't cover them up with any of the resin. So it's not smooth right there. You would definitely want to add a clear layer on that side if you want it smooth. Let me know what you think of these in the comments. Don't forget to check out the links and discounts I have listed in the description and check out the DD art box to make your own. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.